As songwriters, a lot of the time we've trouble finding ways to make our lyrics sound fresh because it's hard writing lyrics about topics in a unique way without ending up sounding cliché. Clichés are the kiss of death for any artist, especially lyricists, because no one wants to hear the same old phrases over and over again. Or do they? If we had to write lyrics using only phrases like every cloud has a silver lining or it's like watching paint dry, we could expect our lyrics to sound pretty cliche. But Arctic Monkeys frontman Alex Turner is a bit of a master at turning cliche phrases into something a bit more unique and interesting. Both examples I just gave are what's known as idioms. An idiom is a phrase that doesn't mean what it seems to say. It's a figure of speech people use all the time. For example, the idiom over the moon, that's an expression of being happy, but it's nothing to do with your actual proximity to the moon. Unless you're a cow, maybe. Since cliches are overused phrases, a lot of idioms fall into this category. But that's not to say all idioms are cliches. Using idioms in our lyric writing can have some advantages. They can make a lyric sound more conversational while adding some extra color and texture to the meaning. Much for deciding not to let it slide. Watch while the paint job dries. But the trick is to avoid the cliche, and Alex Turner uses idioms in a more creative way. Turner avoids the cliche by mixing idioms with other poetic techniques, so we get all of that layered meaning with none of the cliche. In the line, your shoulders are frozen, here he's drawn on the idiom to give the cold shoulder, meaning to ignore someone, but he's using it to create a metaphor. There are actually four different poetic devices being used here. First. There's the idiom to give someone the cold shoulder, but he uses that as a metaphor to say her shoulders are cold. Third, he's using hyperbole. These are exaggerated statements not meant to be taken literally, and we can see it when he says frozen instead of cold. Fourth, the back and vocals are using a simile, as cold as the night. A simile is a figure of speech where we compare one thing to a different kind of thing and use the words like or as. And this is the key to writing lyrics with cliches. These common phrases can be conversational and familiar. They can add imagery and have a deeper meaning, but it's all about finding a unique angle and using them in a fresh, creative way. In 505, Alex Turner stacks idioms, twists a knife, to fall short of the mark, and its bark is worse than its bite. But in the line, frightened by the bite, though it's no harsher than the bark, he's using more poetic devices to bring that cliche back to life. He's giving the situation the characteristics of an animal, and this is known as zoomorphism. Now, writing powerful lyrics often comes down to being able to paint a picture in the listener's mind. So, using zoomorphism lets him describe the situation in a more creative way, by giving it the imagery of a growling dog baring its teeth. By comparing his fear to the bark of a dog, he highlights the similarities between those two situations. And by playing on the idiom, he's adding depth because we already know what that phrase means. When done right, this kind of lyric writing can be really effective, but it's a balance between giving enough visual information to get the meaning across, while at the same time leaving enough space for the listener's imagination to fill in the blanks. And it's not just idioms he uses, he also uses proverbs. Proverbs are a short, well-known saying that state generally general truths or pieces of advice. Like all that glitters is not gold, or every cloud has a silver lining. Using proverbs in lyric writing is by no means a new thing, and it can be a great way to add meaning to a lyric without using overcomplicated language. But they're also an easy way to fall into the cliche trap. To write good lyrics, us songwriters need to be creative with the language we use, and that means finding new ways to say old things. In Are You Mine, Turner uses the proverb, every cloud has a silver lining. He's not only drawing on the meaning of the proverb, but again, he's using other poetic techniques to avoid that cliche. Personification is when we give human qualities to things that are not human. By personifying the proverb, Turner is able to create a metaphor that expresses a lot of meaning in just a couple of words, turning a potentially cliché lyric into something more creative and interesting. Having a tool belt of these poetic devices can really help us level up our lyric writing, but as we've seen with Alex Turner, it's often how we use them that makes all the difference. So watch this video next for a really powerful way to apply these tools to your lyric writing.